G'day. So I've got a EBGA XC3, I believe, 3080 Ti. And this one, I do need to replace a few fans on it as they've gotten rather noisy. How are we gonna do that? Not too sure. While I'm there, I'll probably repaste the, the GPU as well. But I'll see where, that, where I get led to to begin with. There, just the free spinning. Screw on the other side. This teeny tiny hex screw. Put that to the side. This should pop out now. Yep. One back plate. Oh, this is still still stuck down quite heavily. Good there. Ah. One hidden under this sticker. There you are. Now let's see. Nope. We have more hidden, do we? Will this back plate come off now? One back plate off. Not seeing any more hidden secret screws. Hmm. IO ones here. Don't want to bend the PCB too much and crack it. There we go. Click. Now, what do we do? Disconnect here. Fold over. One, two, three. I'll put this out of the way for now. Yeah. What have we got? We have a H15, I believe. H15 is written on there. I'm not sure what that is in torque screws, but I'll go with this. Don't know how many of these need to be taken out, but we'll find out along the way. Not at the end, but looks of it. Closer. One fan. Of 
can already tell this is not going to be pleasant. Loosely do it the screw so I can still pivot the fan. The fan base. Okay, so it's more just time consuming. Just sitting on the wires. See when it's spinning. Let's have one that goes all the way at the back. Okay. So these wires aren't in the right place. That's how we should be looking. Straight at the back. This one here I definitely know is no good. Hmm. Oddly, this one is longer. Goes for the small hole that's there. Three 
And it's a matter of routing these where they should be going, I believe. I don't know why, but these car these wires seem to be ridiculously longer than what they're meant to be. Which is gonna make it somewhat annoying reassembling this, I believe. This way. Clearing cables. Now put these back in. Sure, I just made. Yeah. Silly me, I left my food and drink in here. No, don't, don't leave your food. Yeah, Bye. <laughs> These are going to be the tricky ones to get all coiled back up and plugged in. Drama soon. They're not clipping on the fans at the moment. But I'll change when I try and make it plug back in. Loosely sitting on the back plate. Uh, actually, I might as well do that thermal post while I'm here. IPA, IPA, isopropyl alcohol is its another name. This stuff feels very dry, dry and hardened. So this is probably getting due for a freshening up of thermal paste. See if I can knock some of them off. And by that I mean the thermal paste, not the ICs. Or the caps in there. Sadly, with how sticky the thermal paste is, I don't really want it to go too hard on the around the caps. Small section on the outside of the silicon. Um, so I'm probably just going to settle for that. 
It's not great, but it's going to be better than what it was. I have over here some deep cool Z5. Um, and the little spatula. Guys, that will do for it. Now, move these to down here. I'm going to plug these in. One. Two and three. I want to see if I can just fold it over. Try and keep it somewhere lined up. Put this one up too. Hold this over, got it connected up here, that's fine. This part is where the drama is going to begin. I suppose I need to pull most of those out of there so I can close it up, and then I'll wedge them back in like so. Okay, that's slightly simpler than I thought it was going to be. Here, line this up. So I've got three replaced fans and some replaced thermal paste. Yeah. Now these two, I saw, require these on the end. So I'll just hold that finger tight, and it starts getting some tension. It should just torque itself up. Back around this way as well. Through here. Finger on there, there we go. There we go, and lastly, I'll just tighten these up a little bit more. Good, 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 and good. Finger. Excellent, spinning fine, nothing hitting. Done. Bye.